We're here at the BBC and, and we're talking about this sort of transformation from linear programming that's been traditionally on television to a digital IP scenario. Is it happening? When will it happen? Where are we right now? You know, it's, it's interesting. Over the past several months, what we've seen are the major media companies moving from a hesitant, dip the toe in the water, experimental type mindset to really being ready to jump all into the digital transformation. I think they realize that their audiences are taking a hold of the devices and the environments that, that allow them to uh, consume digital content and they're ready to respond with the, the right type of executions uh, and content delivery for their, for their users. There's a lot of talk of so-called TV everywhere. What are the sort of the prospects for that and how do you guys fit into that ecosystem? Sure. Well, you know, TV everywhere is about being able to deliver your content to any device that your subscriber, your audience wants to uh, consume that content. And uh, you know, our role at Adobe is to help enable that delivery in, in two ways. One is through authentication with our Adobe Pass product, which is the leading authentication product in the market today. And then also by helping to better monetize that content once it's being delivered to devices with advertising. So tell us about the challenge of delivering ads on a digital platform versus the broadcast scenario and kind of what you guys do? Sure. When you talk about monetization, uh, there are a number of challenges that a media company faces in order to be able to effectively monetize. One is just getting the ads into the content itself. And so how do you dynamically insert an ad into that content wherever it's being delivered? And Auditude, uh, leading ad, dynamic ad insertion technology that was acquired by Adobe last year, um, helps ensure that we can get those ads into the content but it actually goes beyond that when it comes to monetization is how, how do you provide an effective user experience eliminating things like buffering um, and the other is device fragmentation where if you really want to reach broadcast scale you have to be able to get that content with ads onto any device that's what we're calling project prime time and that's the industry's first full end-to-end -end solution to be able to take linear content and deliver that to any digital device with ads uh, across the, the, the connected device landscape. What's the challenge um, of serving up the right ads on the fly, if you will? Do you guys know in advance what is going to be served up because um, in, in this kind of live scenario? You do in a, in a uh, primetime simulcast, which is a product we announced just a few weeks ago, allows you to dynamically insert ads into linear content, uh, live linear content. And uh, you do know uh, you have targeting capabilities there, either through the uh, subscription data that the media company has, or geolocation data that you would you would pick up um, from the IP. So there's lots of ways to dynamically target and enhance the experience, the ad experience for the consumer with the information that's available. So finally, Jeremy, where do you think um, we are right now? Um, there's a lot of money, interest, focus. Uh, where do things shake out this year in terms of really moving linear programming to some IPTV scenario? I, I think you're really going to see this year uh, major media companies, the broadcasters and the operators um, executing upon the promise of being able to deliver content to the devices that audiences want to uh, consume that content. Um, in fact, we're excited uh, that something you'll see later this summer is a major media company using prime time in order to deliver live content across desktop, iOS, and Android devices. So we're excited to be demonstrating how media companies are jumping in and taking advantage of the digital transformation taking place. Very good. Well, thanks very much. Great to see you. Thanks for having us.